That's inappropriate. <laughs> oh, my name is Joshua Garcia. I'm a sophomore. I'm Kirsten Walter, and I'm a junior. My name is Kira Cobbs, and I'm a junior. I'm Anna Marie Castro, and I'm a freshman. And we're from Omaha South! <laughs> <clears throat> this is to the girl no one talks to. Shouting letters, but she can't find the words. words. Running the same endless route lost. lost. She doesn't see the signs. signs. Cussing, spitting actions she won't taste. taste. Whispering a melody she doesn't want to hear. Listen. These words I've bundled up in a basket for you with edges of the blanket tucked, wondering who nipped them with every action and vowel I've ever wanted to express to you in a deaf like aching song that floats rhythmically in stiff air is a beautiful song that sings every moment you are silent. Notes tumbling down your body, wake up from this coma, this dream, this sleep, or whatever you're deep into, I'd pinch your skin but I'm slightly afraid it might crack and leave evidence crumbling in the guilty crevices of my fingers. See, in my nails lie a foul burden. Don't we have enough blood stapled to our feet? How much fuller can our eyes get with pointless aggression? How many different masks does it take before you eventually fade away? away? Away to the point where no one really notices you. Something about those brick headphones flexible for you and can't take the laughing or others crying. The way you stick them between your ears, I say scream. Let, Let me, me in before the silence melts you. you. Walking down the hallway, turning your head to avoid faces. Faces that ignore you in a damp hollow classroom when your body's in a desk weeping. Shh. Maybe she's just sleeping. When she's over the toilet, on all fours, clearing her stomach of all the rude comments. Dirty looks. All the stress. Fingers suctioned against broken tile, deciding which Pink, color to change into. Green, purple, blue. Help me! In her grunts. I hate you! As she inhales. Walking back to the classroom like nothing ever happened. My mouth doesn't open, eyes only twitching. Billions of people in this world, and I never would have guessed that my own brother got through every day with 100% air in his body. Maybe if I'd have listened to his lucid stories or fell asleep next to him, actually listening to him talk to a breathless ceiling until one day his skin couldn't take it. And I peeped through brother's room to see a rope hugging his neck in the ceiling and his feet dangling silently. With every action and vowel I've ever wanted to express to him and a death-like aching song that floats rhythmically in stiff air, there's a beautiful song that sings ever since he went silent. Walking down the hallway, a gray in her eyes, no. a blue in her face. No. I would help you, but... Maybe I'm wrong about you. It's not my problem. It's not my business. Until I watch her body, same way as my brothers, leap over the staircase. Girl in the bathroom. Find the words. Girl in the hallway. Look at the signs. Girl, I want to know. Listen to the melody. I, I would help, help you, but... but... Don't let it be too late. Don't let it be too late. Don't, Don't let, let it be, be too late. late. Don't we have enough blood on our hands questioning the hatred we carry? 